Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna have a look at this Ryobi hinge trimmer which um, I already have one of these uh, very similar at least but it's in Denmark and right now I am in Portugal and I need a hinge trimmer here as well it's not as if I have a hinge but we'll get to that if you have seen um, my previous videos you will know that I really like these Ryobi tools and people always tell me to buy oh you should buy a Devolt or a Milwaukee or one of the other undoubtedly more professional brands these are for the professional home user if you ask me <laughs> I like the quality and I like the price point and I like the system um, Ryobi runs with their lithium ion batteries 18 volts this is a 5 amp battery and it's part of the Ryobi One Plus system, meaning that this battery will power, I think, 200 tools or something like that. And that is just awesome. So this battery did not come with this. There is no battery in here. It is actually over there. There's a logo that tells me that there is no battery in this toolbox. Well, box with a tool. This battery came with my uh, drill here, which it pops right in and runs and it was kind of a set it came um, this battery is a 5 amp hour with a smaller one which is a 2 amp hour battery and it comes with a small with a small charger like this I purchased this once and from now on when I'm gonna buy something I can just buy the tool without the battery and that way I'm gonna be saving um, I'm not probably not gonna be saving any money but I get some tools where the money has gone into the tool instead of adding a battery and a charger every time I'm getting better tools for about the same amount of money that I would be paying for a tool if I had to also get the charger and the battery every time that I was getting that tool so better quality than no-name brands where you get a charger and a battery. Let's get unboxing. Uh, this is quite a big box. It took a bit of damage here. I'm in Portugal right now and I ordered it on uh, Amazon in Germany, but it came from Spain. <laughs> so that's kind of complicated. So uh, I hope everything is in the box because uh, yeah, it's an uh, open box day today. There are some nice pictures. There are some information here. It says that you should be able to do 550 meter of hinge trimming 46 minutes probably with a 5 amp hour battery uh, then there's the sword is 55 centimeters uh, between the teeth are 22 millimeters which is two and a half centimeters which means that it it will take fingers like nothing double action and anti-jam which is pretty nice it um, it, it will try to cut big branches and not uh, just jam up every time and they brag about the quality of the teeth and lightweight and have no idea what that is but three years of warranty here is the other end with a lot of languages the model number is the old HT 1855R I do actually think I have already made a video on this I was so happy with this one in Denmark that I kind of went for the same model just to have one down here as well so uh, yeah when you get something that works uh, no need to try and change it right so let's see if we can get in here uh, uh, they haven't made it easy scissors Here's a plastic thing that helps to remove the debris from, um, from when you're cutting. I don't think this is the same as I already have. This looks bigger. The handle rotates. Let's see if there's anything else in here. There is some extra cardboard. Not really. 
then we have the manual and we have the drooling catalog okay they say 150 tools uh, but it is ever growing so yeah lots of cool tools that you can put on your wish list i have already added a lot of these over the years so um but i always go through this and see what else i might just can't live without so which one was this this was the 1855R. That one. Okay, they are very similar in model numbers, so it, um, it might not be the same that I have at home. So, yeah. Uh, the amount of drills that they have is just astonishing. How can they... How can this many be needed? <laughs> So, um, I guess we don't need the box for anything. I'm just, just gonna make sure that there isn't anything up here. Nope, doesn't seem like it. Another piece of cardboard. So, seems to be okay. Uh, looks like this. Anti-jam. Oh, it might be a newer design. I think the sword is bigger than the one I have. Oh. Okay. Or oh, it might be the same. Difficult to say. But look at look. I haven't put the battery in yet, so it should be safe. But look how uh, <clears throat> fingers just fits perfectly in there frightening so the safety of using both hands is really recommended because it will um, it will take branches the sizes of fingers no problem so there is of course the the, the manual here and it's in multiple languages uh, have you ever noticed that when you start reading the manual you get unsure if you are qualified to actually operate this tool because they cover their ass in a degree that will make any toilet paper fabrication factory envious. Uh, then there are some <laughs> another uh, important security instructions. Then there is where to repair the stuff if it breaks. And then there is... Mm, a flyer that more or less makes no sense at all. Oh, it looks so new and shiny right now. Um, I haven't got any oil for this yet. It will work out of the box, I'm sure. But uh, when I use mine at home, I usually have some WD-40 to spray it when I'm done so that it doesn't rust too much. It will rust uh, as it is metal, but yeah, it, it's usually just psh, 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 spray it when I'm done also sometimes I spray it when when I start to lubricate it so that it it runs smoothly and yeah we uh, we saw the handle that it can turn I found that if if you press this button you can't turn it so you have to press this one and you can turn it around uh, freely but as soon as you press the trigger here you, you, you can't, the motor is in here. Sometimes you can kind of see it in there. I, I have it. It's, um, it's not a big motor. Down here, we have some more security stuff. We have the production. This is made in week number 13, 2022. So this is a, a model from, from this year. Then we have all the things that you should wear when you are using that. And it's noisy, apparently, uh, 94 dB. That's, um, that's quite a lot. So powering these tools, um, size of battery does matter. Uh, two amp hours uh, won't last as long as uh, a five amp hour battery, but it also makes the machine feel a little bit less powerful. So getting a bigger battery, like the five amp hour here, well, you can feel the difference when you're working with the machine because it's, uh, it cuts better when it gets more power to, um, to do the work. 
So uh, we're gonna take the the 5 amp here and we just want to make sure that it works before we go outside and that seems like it's working to me oh and there was a, a little thinky on the handle here that tells me exactly what i had to figure out the hard way that uh, you can't uh, press both of the buttons at the same time you uh, only press one of the buttons and then you can turn it so yeah i missed that when you are doing your hinge and uh, especially up on the top of it when you're cutting it this helps to move the branches in the direction where you want to push them so uh, that, that is really good for that i must admit i have used this a lot in denmark uh, for what i'm gonna be cutting right now it's not needed so we're gonna leave it inside also the hinge trimmer does come with this protective piece of plastic that i also keep safe uh, because it's very nice to put the the sword or the blade or yeah inside of that to protect it when uh, when i'm not using it so i'm gonna keep those safe so we're gonna be doing a little bit of walking and talking because um, i'm here at my house in portugal uh, that's the house that's the view up here all the way to the top up there is also my land but it's totally overgrown and uh, yeah i thought i have got a what do you call it a, a bush trimmer that will uh, that will do some of it but i thought well let's try a hinge trimmer as well because some of this i don't really want to get rid of it i just want to make sure that it doesn't get overgrown by the way i'm now the lucky owner of a pond I did not see that one coming. This was not here when I bought the house. I think I have a 12 times 6 meter pond here. I'm not totally sure, but yeah, that's that wasn't here last time. But yeah, let's move further up. I could we could try and trim just some of this. This doesn't need to be this high. There. Even if it would make good video. Yep, it works perfectly. Let's move further up. It might be small, but I think I will claim that I also have a waterfall. It has the right sound of a waterfall. I don't think we have been up here, but uh, well, this is my house from. Um, well, I'm not even one third up the hill, but yeah, neighboring city over here. But it's bushes like this, all of this thing, that I think uh, could need a trim. Just take the top off so that they don't get any higher than that. And then later remove it in some other way. Right now is definitely not the weather for it. It's miserably wet here. It has been raining uh, <laughs> mostly all day. Let's um, let's cut some stuff. Oh yeah, we Vikings like our swords. There is a lot of water coming out of this uh, this hill or uh, mountain, as I call it. Well, all of this up here, and the camera doesn't give it justice. It's a lot of height difference, and it's a lot of distance from the top of my land up here and well we can't see it from this for this pine tree but at the bottom of the land there is 250 meters so it's quite a distance and i would kind of like a path to go up there kind of just through everything so i thought that would be a great test for the hinge trimmer to uh, to start doing some of that I'm gonna start over here it looks like there are it's lower there, just in front of the camera there. Oh, can you see that? That's very easy. <laughs> 
I'll uh, continue a little bit. Okay, we are exploring with a hinge trimmer. <laughs> I just found something interesting. It looks like maybe water is coming out of the, the hill here. And also over here, there is a similar little hole full of water in there. And up there is another one. I have no idea what this is, but yeah. Onwards we go. Okay, so the salt is hinge trimmer has started to sound a little bit tired but it has it's nothing compared to how tired i am so uh, yeah it needs to go on the charger so um i think you saw about this bit so if we turn around uh, i continued and uh, yeah now we can go further up oh camera does not do this justice at all it's it's very steep uh, but with all of the all of the stumps uh, here I was a little bit lazy I didn't didn't cut very far down but yeah you can kind of see how I have created a path up here and some of it this this stuff is really hard to get through <sighs> so uh, yeah and you can see up here, there's a lot of that fine stuff. <sighs> and this is where, well, it started drizzling as well. So I thought the, the hinge trimmer sounded a little bit tired. So there's still a long way to go. But the view has gotten better. <sighs> Out of shape, for sure. Hmm, I did try and make it straight. I did not do a very good job. Uh, weird from up there, it looked straighter. Uh, quite a bit of water coming down this way. I am kind of lucky, this ground here is very rocky. So uh, it doesn't bring a lot of materials with it down. But it does make a little creek going down the road here. And at the end of the garden down in that corner down there there is a similar creek going into the creek at the street where the water is draining out so I think we can go down this way so I'm still exploring my house here I haven't been all places yet uh, I have been to the top up there I went uh, along the trees here and then I went up to the top there but a lot of this I haven't I haven't seen because the times that I've been here it has been well raining like today so kind of horrible weather oh I see that this is an obstacle course hmm I think we can manage to uh, to step on the rocks We are through and we are back at the at the creek <laughs> at the lake at the pond okay I am hoping that it will do a good job on this bramble as well but well now I need to go and recharge <clears throat> and also the battery so this is uh, <laughs> spill water this is my driveway um, that was a blockage in here so a lot of the water was going around and removing part of my driveway here which wasn't exactly awesome right now it's better so um, definitely uh, I need to uh, to work on that but yeah I am not used to this amount of rainwater Denmark is flat so we don't get movement like this I do believe that I made it in just in time so this is water coming down from the roof, no small amount. So recharging the battery is no problem whatsoever. Uh, this is the kitchen counter in my uh, in my kitchen here, and uh, that's a 
clearly uh, proves that I'm not married. So um, yeah, you just disconnect the battery, uh, move the hinge trimmer ever so slightly out of the way. Uh, this charger came with my uh, drill uh, and the batteries. So uh, we uh, put that in there. When you have used the battery in your Ryobi tools, it's a really good idea to not let them lay around for too long. We can see this one is on its last blinking thing, blinkity blink. So we can, we can stuff that in there. I think it goes that way. And it will start charging. There. Uh, red and green blinking, meaning that it is charging. The hinge trimmer is ever so slightly dirty. So the battery is charging, that's no problem. Me charging, that's gonna be more difficult. But I think I have a solution for a little bit of recharging. I can really recommend this hinge trimmer. I've had it for multiple years. Um, <laughs> it feels exactly like the one that I have uh, in Denmark. And if you wanna see that, I'll be sure to post a link for that in, at the end of this video, or maybe, uh, maybe even in the description of this video, if you wanna go check uh, what I thought about this hinge trimmer four or five years ago. It's that long since I purchased this in Denmark and it's still working great in Denmark. And now I have one in Portugal as well because it was working so well in Denmark. So yeah, highly recommended. I have no idea if I'm ever gonna use this turning around action here, but um, it does a really good job. And it's not too heavy. You can, can kind of work it with one arm. Except you should use two arms because of the the finger action out here. So uh, yeah, uh, links are in the description if you want to go check this out. And uh, as I said, highly recommend it. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.